Hello friends, Music Man from Upstairs. And once again, I'm just doing a check-in, uh, letting you know what's going on, and uh, talking about a few money items with you. And uh, let's have some fun. Let's discuss it. Let's discuss movies. Let's discuss finances. Let's discuss what's been going on with me for the last month. I think you'll find it enlightening. If you have any requests, any have any questions that you want me to answer, I will do it absolutely for free on here. You just need to ask me and I'll give you the best advice. Of course, I am not a professional by any means. I have learned from the School of Hard Knocks, but I invite you to ask me any questions you want. Uh, so, let's talk right now. So friends, something's happening with me. I've only been interested to go to a couple of movies. Um, after I went to um, Suicide Squad, I was really disillusioned. And I, I didn't think that I really wanted to spend $25, $30 to go to the movies unless there was something that looked like it was really going to be interesting for me. I went to the Jason Bourne movie. It was good. And I went to the Jack Reacher movie. They're both good. I think that the uh, Jack Reacher would be a great television series, and it, I'd like them. I, I I do believe that Tom Cruise does a adequate kind of like a stand-in band job of being the actor and playing the character of Jack Reacher. But I'd like to see someone more from the novel, six foot four, stocky build kind of guy. I don't know who that would be, but I'm sure they could come up with somebody. That would kind of you know fit that description uh, because the um, character kind of fulfills itself. The guy's kind of a, 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 he is a major in the army who's basically decided to live off the grid, a minimalist, kind of like Mr. Money Mustache. And it would be I think it'd be a fun fun movie or television series to watch. That's my personal opinion. Uh, the Bourne series, uh, the last one was good, but it didn't have the impact on me that the other ones had had. So, um, money and movies. I have a question. How long is a movie good? I mean, they really throw out these trailers that make a movie look just salivating good. And then you go to it and you end up spending 30 bucks to go to a movie one time when I'm on a strict budget for movies. And you feel really disappointed when you walk out. You feel like, why did I waste my money on that? Is a movie not as good when it comes out and you can watch it on your 50-inch TV in HD quality? Uh, eating fresh popcorn instead of the stale popcorn that they had too little salt on when I went to the movie to see Jack Reacher. My mom, oh, not my mom, my wife said the popcorn was awful. Just something to think about. Um, I've kind of started to pull back on the movies. I can't keep up with these uh, other young guys on here on the YouTube that they watch everything that comes out. How can they afford that? I mean, I, I wonder if they're adequately funding their retirement. Um, I'd just like to know uh, because uh, it's really expensive to run out to a movie theater, uh, 10 bucks minimum, uh, and that's not including the gas, $10 to go. And then on top of that, if you buy, buy a bag of popcorn, get ready to get robbed. I mean, it's like, I don't know, 7 to $9. And if you want a pop, it's $8. <laughs> and if you knew how much it costs for them to make a pop, uh, or a soda, or a Coke, if you're down south, it's really cheap. I mean, the cup, and the, the it's just water with some carbon carbonated flavored tea. And it cost them about 20 cents to make it, and they're charging you $8 for this stuff. Uh, they're really ripping you off. I mean, it's like they're making, what? I'm not a mathematician, but they're making thousands and thousand percent profit on this popcorn and on this pop. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Especially when you watch a movie that's not quite that good. Um, so I'm, I'm back in the school year. Things are going well. 
this year they've decided to rebuild the auditorium at my school and uh, it's, it's needed updating since 1939. Well, in 1939 was the last time they updated it. And it's looking fantastic, but the only thing is, is it really puts a crump on trying to teach when you're trying to do uh, work on Schubert or Mozart or, you know, uh, sing Dies Irae and when the, and then the kids, Dies Irae. <laughs> and that's what it's been like now for the last uh, two months. It's ba been basically uh, trying to teach in, the, in a construction zone. And uh, I'm not complaining because we're getting a new auditorium, but I think they may be disappointed in how well we sing. <laughs> Unless we're, we got hammers and we've got uh, drills and, and sawzalls going behind us while we're trying to sing. So that's what's going on in my life there. Um, otherwise, everything is going real well. I uh, can't really think of anything to really complain about. I know the election is coming up next week. And uh, I could really care less uh, because obviously... Uh, our two, the who America is even putting as candidates is a real concern for me. Uh, it's kind of silly what's going on there. I, it's, I it's, I'm kind of can't believe the candidates at all. There's nothing really much to even discuss there. Um, should you buy silver or gold? No. If it comes down to fighting over the last can of cream corn, who cares about that? So the election's coming up. Go vote for who you think will take America in the direction that uh, it should go. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, probably, I have no choice. Uh, Hillary is a criminal. I mean, it's obvious. I, I don't know how anyone can, anyone that doesn't see that she's involved in criminal activity, they're just deluding themselves. Uh, we don't need a president that's going to be bogged down by being investigated for her first two or three years, maybe even impeached. And that guy she's got as her running mate, whoa. Is that guy, like, really low on the, in the spectrum of species. Uh, he's not a real great guy. So, vote for who you think. I, I think I have to go Trump. Over nausea, I have to vote Trump. Which is really sad. He's not really a Republican. And I don't really know what to think about the guy. He's kind of like having a, a dog that is, uh, you like the dog, but the dog runs around and breaks your stuff all around the house. You know, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, a dog that's hard to train kind of thing. Yeah, I just, I just compared Donald Trump to a dog. Of course, I like dogs. But uh, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's just like a bull in a china shop. He just says what's ever on his mind. He doesn't care who he offends. Funny guy, really. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, I've listened to his son speak, and uh, I think his son would be a better pres presidential candidate than he is. That's my own personal opinion. His kid, he seems more articulate. He seems to be able to express himself well and not say some kind of loony things. So that's uh, basically it uh, for movies. I'm basically to watching them, uh, picking them up at the library, watching them on DVD or watching something on Netflix. Uh, as for, uh, I've kind of, I might go see Doctor Strange this weekend. But financially, things are going real well. Once you pay off your debts, that's the mo best investment you can ever make. Uh, you guys know that uh, last April I was done finally with everything, paid off my mortgage and everything, or May. My wife says it's May or June. Uh, she says I'm delusional or whatever. But uh, it, it now with the house paid off, uh, the uh, we have more money to invest and uh, things are going well. Um, I have no complaints. Uh, pneumonia is sweeping around my town. My daughter had pneumonia this week. That was a lot of fun. And so everything's going fantastic and the sun is out. It's a nice day. I guess I'll enjoy the rest of the day. I had a teacher 
parent conferences this morning, and uh, it was enjoyable. Met some great parents. Only the good kids' parents come to these things. You know, they come, and there's not much more to say than your kid is doing excellent. Your kid's doing really, really well. Uh, the kids that are a real pain in the butt, you would like their parents to come so you can say, can you please help me out with this child? But they never come. So I think I cover the spectrum. Movies, I'm basically really selective about the movies I go to now. Uh, politics, don't really care. Um, I still think that Hillary may win even with all that Donald Trump's done, because we do, we do live in a country where people want to live off other people. They want free money. People like socialism. They want to take money from people that work hard and, and uh, bust their butts and them to distribute that money equally, which is a really, really bad idea because that gives uh, people like me incentive to do nothing. Then no one wants to do anything. If somebody's going to take my money as soon as I make it because they want to sit on their butt and eat chocolate bonbons and watch the Cardassians, why should I work myself to death? However, the reason I still go to the school every day and teach choir is I love the music and love the kids. You know, I really do. I enjoy it. I think I have a really great job. There's a lot of people that pick on me and say I don't have a real job, but I feel like I give the kids, uh, I make... Uh, school palatable because there's not everybody that wants to be in football and not everyone wants to be an engineer or a mathematician. Uh, there are some kids that like to sing and I, I feel like I do a service by teaching them to sing and we're singing some beautiful music. We're singing Bach and Mozart, Schubert this year. It should be a great concert. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. If you have any questions, just ask me. Um, Ask me to address anything that you want me to, because uh, I, I, I'm kind of leading, leading a pretty boring life right now. I mean, I don't really have much going on. I'm driving an 86 Toyota pickup. It never breaks down. Don't even have anything to talk about there. Uh, financially, I paid off my debts. Uh, my wife's 401k is exploding. Um, it's just growing astronomically the last three months. It's unbelievable how that money is just boom, adding up. Uh, I'm enjoying teaching. I'm call, I was called to do it. Uh, the dogs are happy. My dogs, Tootsie and Tori, are happy. And so uh, now I'm going to kick back on the couch and read. You should read too. Take care. Bye.